Hi. I welcome you in exciting world of general science and English. My name is Jenny Adams and you are watching Visionary Science Academy. We are working here to develop your approach towards subjects, which are considered difficult. We develop techniques to build your concepts. Now my colleague will help you understand today's topic. Hi. My name is Catherine. We are going to discuss preposition today. It can be defined as any word or group of words in a sentence which indicate position of a noun or pronoun with respect to other noun, pronoun or element in a clause is called preposition. Or preposition is a word which is used in a sentence to show how other words are connected to each other. For example, I'll meet you at university, in California, outside the library, on the university campus. Here at, in, outside and on are prepositions. Preposition can be divided into following types. 1. Simple preposition. These are single word preposition. These are named as simple preposition because of its etymology. Some examples of simple prepositions are after, by, down, for, from, in, on, over, besides, behind, above etc. 2. Compound preposition. These prepositions are made up of more than one word. In other words, these are formed by prefixing a preposition. Some examples of compound preposition are ahead of, because of, in between, on behalf of, in advance of, in case of, at the risk of, as a result of etc. 3. Phrasal preposition. These are a kind of simple preposition which are preceded by a word of any other category for example adverb, adjective or conjunction. These prepositions cannot stand alone, these must contain within a phrase. The phrase in which such preposition exists are known as prepositional phrase. For example, the patient is on the point of death. We are working hard with an eye to the future. The man signed a check in favor of the trust. Now let we discuss preposition of place. These are type of simple preposition, and these indicate position of one object, with respect to another object. Some of its example are briefly discussed below. 1. In indicates that something rests inside other thing. For example, stones are in the bowl, in picture. 2. On indicates that something is placed over another thing. For example, cup is on the table, in picture. 3. Between is used when one object is placed at middle of two objects. For example, apple is between two boxes, in picture. 4. To is used when an object is moving towards another object. For example, dinosaur is reaching to the end point, in picture. 5. Behind is used when one object is placed exactly backward of other. For example, apple is behind the book, in picture. 6. Through is used when one object enters from one point, and leaves it from another point. For example, girl is going through a town, and dinosaur is going through a ring of fire, in picture. 7. Over is used when one object passes another object from its upper side. For example, girl is going over a bridge, and dinosaur is crossing over a hurdle, in picture. 8. A cross is used when one object is moving from one side of an object, to the other side of it, not from entering or exit point. For example, girl is going across a road, and dinosaur is going across a rope, in picture. 9. Along is used when one object is moving as per another object. For example, girl and dinosaur are going along the road, in picture. 10. Over and above, these two prepositions are also used in same sense, but, over is used when one object is exactly upon other object. While above is used when one object, is upper to another, but not necessary exactly overhead of other. For example, tree is over the boy, while clouds are above the boy, in picture. 11. Under and below, both of these prepositions are used for same sense, for example, one object is placed lower to another. But there is a small difference, 
under means one object is exactly beneath to another object, but below means one object is placed lower to other, but not exactly beneath to other object. For example, gift is under the tree, but apple is below the table, in pictures. 12. Into is used when one mobile object is going inside other, mobile or stationary, object. For example, boy is diving into the pool, in picture. 13. Around is used when one object is moving in a circle around another object. For example, girl is moving around a tree and dinosaur is moving around a dancing rod, in picture. 14. Under is used when an object passes other object from lower side of it. For example, girl is going under the bridge, in picture. 15. Off and um, preposition of is used when an object is falling down without any support, or removing an object from a place, while preposition of shows belonging or composition as shown, in picture. 16. At is used to indicate a fixed point or exact location. For example, he was at my door steps yesterday. Now stop your video for 5 minutes, and try to solve this exercise yourself. Now let we discuss preposition of time and date. Preposition used in time and date expression are discussed below in detail. By By means, not later than given time. For example, You must be back by 4 o'clock. At At is used for, exact point of time. For example, I get up at 6 o'clock this morning. In In indicates, a period of time. For example, he works, in the morning. On. On indicates, a day or part of a day, in which, some event occurred. For example, we met him, on the day of his marriage. During. During indicates, throughout the length, of a period of time. For example, Europe was in the throes of war, during 1914 to 1918. For. For indicates, a period of time, considering it as a whole. For example, I waited for you, for four days. Since. Since is used for, until some point of time. For example, he has not met me, since Monday last. From. From is used to denote, some point of time onwards. It is not used with perfect tense. For example, he started his work from the 1st of August. After. After is used to indicate past space of time. For example, I met him after a long time. Before. Before is used to indicate earlier to a point of time. For example, I will come before 5 o'clock. On time. It is used to indicate exactly at appointed time, punctually. For example, the 10.30 p.m. train arrived on time. In time, it is used to indicate, not late. For example, we were in time, for train. Now, stop your video for 5 minutes, and try to solve this exercise yourself. There are many words, in English language, which are used, without any preposition. These words, must be treated carefully, to ensure effective writing. There are certain rules, to leave out a preposition. Now let we discuss, words without preposition, in detail. 1. Following words do not take any preposition after them. Bearing, considering, concerning, notwithstanding, pending, regarding, respecting, touching. For example, bearing, a few drops, it was left with no water. 
Will you consider my suggestion? His academic results are still pending. 2. No preposition is used with expression of time, which begins with next, last, every, any, all, before, tomorrow, and yesterday, etc. For example, I will help you tomorrow. He stayed here all week. I will see him next Sunday. 3. Following words do not take any preposition after them in active voice. Accompany, afford, answer, ascend, ask, and many other, which are given here. For example, he resisted all temptations. An uneasy calm pervades here. He reached his destination. 4. Expression of height, shape, length, size, color, age, area, and volume are connected with subject of sentence through a verb instead of a preposition. For example, both the building is the same size. You are right high to be a boxer. What color are his eyes? 5. Preposition at is dropped in sentences like at what time? For example, what time does he get up? What time does the train arrive? 6. Preposition to is omitted before home only if there are following words before the word home, come, go, arrive, get, bring, send and take. For example, let's go home. When does he gets home? Note that if such words are not present in a sentence before the word home then preposition is used. For example, I shall go to his home. Pray, stay at home. Now try to solve general exercise yourself.